Stroke is a serious medical emergency, causing damage to the brain when either a blood clot restricts blood flow or a weakened blood vessel ruptures. Stroke is the number one leading cause of long-term disability in the United States. David Tershwell is a stroke neurologist at UW Medicine's Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. When we have somebody that comes in with a stroke, we have a standard workup that we do. We look at the blood vessels supplying their brain. We do an ultrasound usually of their heart. And then we also usually will do a CT scan or commonly an MRI of the brain. We can usually come up with a pretty reasonable theory about what caused the stroke somewhere between 60 and 80 percent of the time, I would say. That leaves 20 to 40 percent of stroke patients with a mystery. Val Stewart was 36 when she had a stroke of unknown cause last year. There's no smoking gun with my stroke. They say it's called a cryptogenic stroke, and my medical background, I was like, ooh, that's such a great word, cryptogenic, hidden origins, like, oh yeah, it's perfect. Val's stroke happened while she was in the shower. So the arm was my first um, signal that something was going wrong and that it was numb, it was really heavy, it wasn't operating like I wanted it to. The speech was the other major one, but being in the shower by myself, I'm not talking to myself, I'm not a shower singer, so I didn't notice the speech until I tried to get out and call for help. The occupational therapist recorded herself while still in the hospital. My speech has improved, but still is um, clearly not my own. Cryptogenic stroke is a subtype of ischemic stroke. Younger patients who have a much lower rate of stroke, a greater proportion of their strokes are at times cryptogenic by our standard workup. Val says she's almost 100% back to normal. To reduce her risk of future stroke, she's now taking a daily aspirin. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, this is Megan Clark.